Hi there guys and welcome back to the shop for episode 56 on Project Archie. Today we've got an 85 millimeter problem because our rods, you've got two rods that are, well, they're about 15 millimeters too long. These are 100 millimeter by three millimeter rods and these are gonna be used inside the J5 carrier assembly and all that jazz. So we need to get these down to 85. Now the way I'm gonna do it, which is, I don't know if it's the best way, but it's what I got. I'm gonna do it with a uh, rotary cutter, not a Dremel. I have a Dremel, but I'm using this because this is the one I abuse in the shop. And uh, really good safety glasses. So I'm just gonna get these engaged right before we even begin. Now, I'm gonna show you how I do this. Your way could be completely different, but I'm just doing the best I can with what I got. As a rule, this makes an excellent layout die for this kind of thing. Get a big giant Sharpie. The blue one is uh, close enough for layout die. And I'm just gonna mark these. You don't have to be pretty about it because these are never gonna be seen by anybody and this wipes right off if you need it to. So I'm just gonna douche the end of that and let it hang off the end of the workbench a minute. And then we'll get this one. Now I'm gonna wanna scribe a really nice clean line on there. Now the reason for this, the reason you mark this out like this is they make a, uh, a blue layout die. It's common in every shop. And when I build a machine shop, I'll actually have some again, but right now I don't. Um, without blue layout die, Big blue Sharpie works great. Use blue because it'll coat the surface of the steel in a way that you can easily scratch off with something sharp and pointy, like the jaws on your calipers. These are nice and sharp. And I've got this set to 85 millimeters. And we're going to, you know, we need 85 millimeters. So if we measure zero our calipers, bring them out to 100, this should be dead nuts on 100. Yeah, so we're, we're 100. Now check the other one. Yep, that's close enough. I think that'll be okay. So we want 85. So what I can do, because measuring 85 with that chucked in anything is gonna be a nightmare, we'll just set this to 15. And yes, I'm chasing that last hundredth. Close enough, 14.99. Oh, no, it's almost. If you breathe on it. So now what I can do is put this in a drill. Because this is, we're, we're, we're measuring with calipers, we're marking with chalk, and we're cutting with an ax. So this isn't gonna be pristine, but now I can hold that in the end there. And if I can juggle all these. Yeah, that's a good enough line to see. All right, I can live with that. And now, <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in a vise and not do it in a drill. It'd be cooler if I did it in a drill. But I'm already plenty cool enough. I'm gonna put this horizontally in my soft jaws. I want that to be pretty right up in there. I've got a guide hole down the center of my soft jaws, but it's way too big for this. Now, I think that's my line. That is absolutely my line. And now we just whittle a piece off of this.
Okay. Now, I cut it. I cut it about a millimeter or two long so that I can just ease in on this abrasively. And I can clean that up. That's a mite bit warm. Okay, well that's our rough cut. Now, that really does work way better doing it in a drill because it's a round shaft and you want to get the whole thing. So I'm just going to set the drill on the table and hopefully that'll make this less of a fight. Beautiful. All right. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Kind of like don't don't get any ideas. Let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves, but I got a little bit of a clue. I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna choke up on that pretty tight. I don't want a lot of stick out. Kind of job I wish I had a Unimat for. And that's good. And now I'm just gonna dress the end of those. Let's see, let's see how close we are. We'll bring our calipers out to 85. See how close we are. Yeah, we're we're long by like a millimeter. Check this one. Yeah, perfect. We're just a little tiny bit long, and that's right where I want to be. Because I can clean the rest up with sandpaper and a drill, maybe. I might have to uh Get a little creative because I can still see my line on there, which is cool. Let's try it with the drill. See if I can do this with our fake drill lathe. I don't know, sandpaper is going to work very well, but this might. If I can juggle the two. That's way nice. And I put a little round over on the end. Now I'm just gonna grab a file and kiss that. We're spinning that way. Files cut on the push. So you don't wanna go like this because it wouldn't do anything. So I'm gonna go this way.
Let me just round. Oh, wow, that came out nice. All right. That's a better end on it than it has on the, from the factory. That's beautiful. Look at that. Nice little rounded over edge. That's beautiful. Let's see what our overall length is. Ha! 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 Oh. Now can I do it again? <laughs> Once is magic, twice is education. All right, let's uh let's see if we can make all of that happen again. Cuz that was pretty cool. Not not bad for just screwing around in the shop. All right. Then we go to the file. Beautiful. A little bit of a nick out of it right there, but that won't hurt anything. Overall lengths. Eighty-five point three eight. I'll live with it. I think it'll be okay. So they're cut, they're shaped, they're safe, they're good. If you use a fiber wheel, if you're using any kind of little handheld rotary tool, whether or not it's a Dremel or a Cryobi, you absolutely have to be wearing safety glasses. And something important to keep in mind, especially with the fiber wheels, this, this is an important thing with fiber wheels. When you're using this, there's, I want you to imagine that there was a little laser on top of this disc shooting a spinning laser beam out. Anything that sweeps inside this disc in this axis, in this entire infinite frictionless plane out into space, anything from the edge of this disc straight out, don't have anything super delicate there, like eyeballs, okay? Um, frequently when you're using these, you'll have to be in a position like that, but whenever you can avoid it, you wanna just look at it like I was. You wanna look at it and you're just looking at the backside of the disc and seeing what it's touching. You don't wanna be like right in there because these discs, explode with surprising regularity. And when they do, they throw shrapnel at very high speed and it's wicked sharp and it'll embed in your face. It'll go right through an eyeball. You... Safety glasses are absolutely mandatory with fiber wheels and Dremels as a whole. Um, but it doesn't matter if the fiber wheel is a little tiny toy like this. A lot of people aren't as scared of these little ones as they should be. Like they pull out a big, you know, big angle grinder with a giant wheel on it, like like Mitch's old Vaney, and everybody gets nervous. They got glasses on, they're, they're, they're proper safety protocols. But people ignore these things, and that little disc is spinning wicked fast, and it'll chuck a piece right into your eyes. So wear safety glasses, get a good pair. These are, I'll put a link to these below in the description. These are, these are the ones I use. I got them from Avatech, who's a good buddy of mine. And when the stylish, cool airplane mechanic dudes are wearing them, you know that you're cool. These are so much better than the crappy buck and a half of pair ones I used to wear. So I like them and thank you Avatech for helping me out on that. You guys have fun. As always, I'll see you next time. If you wanna get in on this, if you wanna be in on the live chat, hanging out with me while I'm shooting these and getting questions answered and all that jazz, check out the links below in the description to the Discord. You're welcome to join and hang out with all of us other nerds. 
And yeah, that's what I got. You can get the kit for this with all the pieces and the rods and the carrier and all that from annanrobotics.com. I'm Chris Bowden, and as always, I'll see you next time.